All right, guys, what's going on? So I uh, just wanted to give a quick update of uh, what's going on with the bike build. Um, so uh, first things, well, not first things first. Well, I just wanted to uh, let you guys know that it is running, uh, thankfully. Um, there are still minor kinks to it. Um, I did fix the... Uh, a lot of the wiring, I went back in and soldered all the wires, so um, pretty much I just wanted to let you guys know that a lot of the main wires are uh, already soldered, the battery to the power and ground is uh, soldered, the uh, what is it, the wires to the controller are soldered, the wires to the motor are soldered uh, for all the power and ground units, and uh, the ignition wire is soldered as well. Um, as far as the brake sensor goes, I realized that the um, the brake sensor um, or the bike itself will actually disable um, will disable the motor if I run the sensor. So um, I I think I'm just gonna run no sensor at all, and you know just what is it? Let it uh, let it cut out um, just by you know letting off the throttle and just adjust how I ride. Um, because for some reason, if I run no sensor, the bike runs no problem. But if I plug the sensors in, the bike is basically disabling itself, putting itself in limp mode, and won't even allow you to ride it. Um, <clears throat> and I think that's because the other sensor is still not plugged in for the, uh, what is it, for the uh, front gears, uh, I think the front cog, if you pull that off, then I can be able to put install the sensor. I don't have the tools for that, so, and uh, I figured, you know what, it would just be easier to run without it. Um, so I just ordered a chain, so this way I can get that and get that taken care of. Um, I realized the issue that I ran into is that um, I, in order to run it properly, uh, I need to run it as a fixed gear, so I'm in the process of trying to figure out um, what size front gear I need to run and what size chain, and you know that that's where I'm stuck at at the moment. But as far as the bike itself goes, the bike itself runs. I ride it around on the street, no problem. I think I put about a hundred miles on it altogether. You'll see that in later later videos altogether. But let me show you what I'm talking about. So I managed to go ahead and solder all these wires here um, right here these are all soldered this is soldered that's soldered that's soldered i know i did a terrible taping job but it is what it is right now i'm just going to run it and uh, go from there uh, but those wires are soldered and this is all taken care of these are all tucked away and whatnot as, as best as they can be um, that's tucked away all the way along here and then i tucked the wires all the way across i still have the brake sensor wire right over here and whatnot the wires themselves are still here like if you look at this running all the way across these are pretty much disconnected but they're still here um and they pretty much just sit up here the whole time i still gotta figure out what i want to do with them and then try and see if i can get them connected somehow without it going into limb mode but the the bike itself is you know running just fine it charges up i've been running it for about i want to say a week week and a half at the moment you know before making this update all together and you know just making sure everything runs and whatnot and then going from there um these are all connected so like let's say if i power it on all right let me disconnect that first power this on and the bike runs it goes through all the power assists and everything I'm not gonna run it in here because the throttle you know I don't want the thing to shoot straight into the wall um, but it, it is uh, so it, it is still running and whatnot um, I still do have to work on the brake and I got the brake fluid coming in um, and then, uh, what is it? I'll make a video while I'm, uh, you'll see my later videos of me doing this part, making sure that this is all taken care of and wired correctly, not correct, uh, wired correctly. It is already wired. I mean, it's, it's hydraulic line, so it's pretty much, it's just gonna be 
uh, bleeding the brakes and uh, getting that all taken care of. But uh, the issue that I did run into is kind of a major one, I believe. So there is a clearance issue with the back. I, w I stretched it out as much as I can, um, but I'm still r dealing with the brake caliper literally rubbing against the wheel. And um, I don't know if it's gone through and um, what is it? And if it's gone through and uh, I guess I guess if it has if it's gone through and actually put a hole in the in the uh, in the fluid, I don't think so. I think that's just it just burned off the excess on the outside, and then it, that's just it is what it is because it kind of stopped rubbing at the moment. Uh, but I think you know that's just from regular riding. I pulled it out as much as I could so that I could stretch it out properly. And uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much it at the moment. I think I'm just gonna try and get a new caliper altogether before I even do the brakes, but we'll see. I'm gonna try ble bleeding the brakes first, see how that goes, and if it bleeds the brakes just fine and holds pressure, then I'm just not gonna do anything and just leave it as is. But if not, then uh, I'm gonna put a whole new caliper on there and stretch it out even farther out and then go from there and see how that goes. But uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much it as far as the bike build goes. Other than that, I still got to get a chain for the rear, and you know, just connect it up and then go from there, and then uh, see how that goes. But uh, yeah, pretty much with with the regular with the bike itself, it's it's pretty much done. Next thing I'm gonna do is I would just get turn signals and a front headlight, and then just run it as it is, and it's it's pretty much an electric motorcycle at that point. So uh, yeah. So we'll see you guys in the in the later on videos. This is a mostly recent update that I have of it. And uh, take care. Oh, and uh, before I go, I wanted to let you guys know. So uh, I did get the rear tire situation taken care of. What it ended up being was that it needed thicker rim tape. And uh, what is it? What ended up happening was every time I put a new tube in, you'll see that in the which I'm sure you saw that in previous videos or not the previous video previously in the video itself um, yeah pretty much I had to get a um, I had to get thicker rim tape on it because it just it just kept popping tube after tube after tube and uh, the tire size ended up being just fine um, it just I needed it I needed a tube that was proper for it so I got the right tube and uh, Make sure that the tire works fine, and uh, yeah, no, that, that's pretty much it. And uh, yeah, so now it runs just fine. Uh, you can use it just fine, ride it just fine, and it holds pressure no problem. It was just the tube itself that needed the thicker rim tape all the way around. But other than that, stick around, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.